leaving Pier 54 and America behind, Lusitania embarks on her voyage. Carrying the hopes and dreams of 2,000 people across the Atlantic into the danger zone. Day two of Lusitania's 202nd crossing of the Atlantic. No one on board is aware that this is destined to be her last. New York theater producer Charles Froman spends most of his time in his first class cabin, accompanied by piles of scripts. Froman was a real workaholic. Well, that's probably what had made him such a success. But he suffered quite badly from rheumatism. He walked very slowly, leaning on a stick, a stick which was sort of so closely attached to him he called it his wife. So he wasn't often seen out and about the ship. Froman was pleasantly surprised to discover that a close personal friend is also traveling in first class. Two decks below, in cabin D-15, star of the silent screen, 25-year-old French actress, Rita Jolivet. She had, in fact, in spite of the warning, only bought her ticket that morning. She had a brother who was in France, who she believed was about to be posted to the Western Front, and she wanted to go over to France to see him before he got involved in the fighting. During the crossing, the flagship passenger liner lives up to her nickname, Greyhound of the Seas. Driven by four giant Parsons turbine engines, producing 68,000 horsepower, Lusitania's unrivaled top speed of 25 knots has already made her the pride of her country. The Lusitania represented Britain's maritime might and recapturing the speed record from the Germans after the Germans had had it for 10 previous years. It made her world famous. Overseeing this massive floating powerhouse is the ship's second engineer, 44-year-old father of three, Andrew Coburn. Being an engineer on the Lusitania was the pinnacle. Everyone wanted his job, but you had to earn it. Coburn was a senior and very experienced engineer. He'd been with Cunard for 22 years. He was obviously a very skillful man. His nickname apparently was Wizard of the Seas. He was ridiculously competent. Even with one boiler shut due to war economies, Lusitania maintains an impressive 21 knots. At this speed, she will make landfall in just under six days, a speed considered fast enough to keep her safe. 